Conor McGregor finally returns to fighting, but in a movie versus Jake Gyllenhaal. Roadhouse, what do we think of it? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Movie Dive. Today, we're going to be diving into the new Jake Gyllenhaal Amazon Prime film, Roadhouse. The reason I didn't say the name Doug Lehman, who was the director, is because he now hates this movie because it didn't go to theaters, but I think streaming was a pretty good platform for this film. Before we get started, I do want to remind you guys, please subscribe to the Movie Dive. A new subscriber, every 200 subscribers, will win a $50 gift card to the movie theater of their choice, and remember, only one per month. And back to Roadhouse. So Roadhouse, again, stars Jake Gyllenhaal, Connor McGregor, I don't know how to say these names, Daniela Melchior and Billy Magnuson. Roadhouse was a throwback to the early 2000s, late 90s kind of cheese films that we used to get. When I was in middle school, I would go to the movies with my friends on Friday nights. We thought we were so cool hanging out and we would go see films that would kind of be like Roadhouse. I guess some examples of that would be The Rundown with The Rock and Sean William Scott or even movies like Too Fast, Too Furious. This one kind of follows those vibes of cheesiness. However, I feel like it does it in a really fun way. It is pulled along with Jake Hall's performance. I feel like he is perfect for this type of character. He's kind of fallen into this role. Of course, he gets ripped for this movie. This guy fluctuates weight with every film he seems to be in. We saw the shots of him training or him, I guess, fighting in the octagon in a real UFC fight. Those scenes actually don't appear too often in this film. It's kind of like flashbacks that he has. The film has kind of that Miami paradise setting to it, where of course, the Roadhouse is a place that the bodyguard, played by Jake Hall, is trying to protect while a rich guy is trying to take it over. That's kind of the premise of this movie. It gets way too overly violent. You think to yourself, this would never happen in real life. Whatever, you still go along with the ride because they play into the cheesiness on a really good level. There is some humor that hits and then I guess we can talk about Conor McGregor being the main villain of this movie. He's kind of like Bowser from some Super Mario's. He's He just comes in all roided out and just starts knocking everyone to the ground and beats the hell out of Jake Gyllenhaal. Jake Gyllenhaal's to get revenge on him and we know where we're going with this. The thing with movies like Roadhouse, obviously it's not going to end up on anyone's top 10 of the year or anything, but it's also not going to end up on anyone's top worst of the year. However, I know as years go by, 10 years in the future, I'm going to be sitting in some hotel room and I'm going to be like, oh, I can watch Roadhouse on Netflix or whatever other streaming service and just have it on the background as a really good time. Sometimes those movies are just perfect to put on and they're perfect to watch and there's no issue with that. So Roadhouse had a fun direction to it. The cast seemed like it had a good time. Conor McGregor now can maybe get back to actual fighting or selling whiskey or whatever he does in real life. And we'll see what we get now from Jake Gyllenhaal after doing a fun prime film. I'm going to go ahead and get give Roadhouse a 71 out of 100. I think they did great with the material they were given and with what they were going for, they executed. So you guys let me know what you thought about Roadhouse. Have you seen it? Please comment down below. Once again, do not forget to subscribe and we will see you next time on the Movie Dive.